Hello everyone. In this session, we will see how to clone an environment from test to production or production to test. This is released in March 2021. Let's log into test environment. In home page, under tools, there is an option called clone environment. I have logged into source environment which is test environment and I want to move this to production. So remember we need to log into source environment. If you want to clone the production to test you need to log into production environment. In this screen under clone environment we need to enter target URL, username and password. Username with only service administrator role or both service administrator and identity domain administrator roles are required. Enter password. Along with this, it also brings data management. Cloning the environment will remove the target application. It will bring entire metadata, entire data. By default, data management option is selected. That means entire data management records also will be cloned. If we don't want, we can unselect that. This tool uses artifact snapshot, which is created as the latest artifact snapshot. And if you want to migrate users and predefined roles also, you can select. This is shared services users and roles. This is the target URL. Enter target username and password. I am unselecting data management. Before starting the clone option, let's go to migration. There are other snapshots, but these will not be used. So the snapshot that system automatically picks up is the one that is created in the backup. Let's go back to the clone environment again and here is the target URL, username, password, data management unselected. Let's click clone. Here are the steps shown in clone environment status. It has clone start date, validation before initiating clone, it is successful, login to target environment successful, validating target environment version, it is successful, validating target service environment is successful. Now performing recreating service on target environment. Here this says it's recreating the entire service and any backup that is created in the target environment already will be kept. When this clone environment option was released in March 2021, at that time this command used to delete all the migration snapshots also. That issue is fixed with the latest version. Here is the target environment. It's recreating the environment so the application is removed now when we go to the target environment and see the progress of this performing recreate service on target environment is successful uploading snapshot artifacts is successful now it is importing the snapshot let's go to the target environment now click the navigator icon on the left hand side click migration under snapshots, the artifact snapshot is copied from our test environment to the production environment here. Now this process uses the artifact snapshot shown here. Now as you notice, the target environment application is created, but still the modules like financials, workforce, which are there in the source environment are not created yet. In our source environment, financials workforce modules are already available. So we will check this in our target environment once the clone is completed. Even if we close this screen or log out of the test environment, the process will still be running. But however, if the daily maintenance schedule time is during this time of the clone environment, then the process will be abruptly cancelled. So the daily maintenance will take the precedence over this clone environment. You may have to restart the process again. It is always better to create the clone environment as soon as the daily maintenance is over. 
import snapshot is still in progress. Now I am checking in the target environment to see what are all the components migrated so far. Now I see financials is created. Now the importing snapshot is successful. Next step data management snapshot is not applicable and importing data management is also not applicable. We have not selected these two options and migration status is successful. It took 15 minutes to clone this environment. There is no much data here. If you have huge amount of data, it may take even five to six hours or more. And here is the target environment. Now workforce module is also created. Let's check daily maintenance time under tools, daily maintenance. This target daily maintenance time is changed. So this is very important to check the daily maintenance time. In this session, we have seen how to clone an environment using the clone environment option. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in next session.